And a big welcome back to our Baron Spotlight, where we're on location today at Levy's Fine Jewelry. They are the presenting sponsor for our Rickwood Classic. And speaking of the Rickwood Classic, our special guest this year is former big leaguer Daryl Strawberry. And well, Daryl, first of all, welcome to Birmingham. Welcome to our Rickwood Classic. And in baseball, most of what we do is scouting. So how much scouting did you do in terms of the city of Birmingham and the Rickwood Classic? Well, I didn't do much. Uh, I've, I've been in the city of Birmingham um, not too long ago, about a month, a little over a month ago. You know, so I was here at the church uh, preaching. So um, that was the time. That was the first time getting more familiar with it. But um, it's good to be back. I mean, I knew this event was coming up and it was on the schedule, and I was looking forward to it. Work with Ryan and, mm -hmm. and Gerald, you know, and, and we just really, I really talked about the uh, you know, possibility of me coming here because uh, I really don't do a lot of baseball stuff. Right. Um, and, and I thought it would be pretty cool you know, to come here, you know, more than anything for the fans. I think that's the reason of, of being here. That's the reason I decided to come because I know there's a lot of fans that uh, love baseball and, and I want to be, you know, someone that has um, come across uh, Birmingham and, right, and give them an autograph to a, a lot of fans. You know, that's what I'm really looking forward to. That's the reason why I really come here because, you know, I know that there'll be a lot of kids there and that's what's important to me. Unlike... Dwight Gooden, where we weren't really sure what he was currently doing. What you're currently doing, we know about. All you have to do is hit Google and hit your name, and there are many, many things that you are involved with. In fact, I'm not sure how much time you have <laughs> before you go finally or find a church, but you were involved. Obviously, you're an ordained minister. Uh, you have a recovery center down in Florida. And something else that I found out is that you work a lot with people and children with autism. How and why did you get involved in all of these different things? Well, I got involved with autism first in, in 06. Um, and from St. Louis, we lived in St. Louis the last 12 years, me and my wife Tracy. Mm -hmm. And her sister worked with autistic children. And we went into a center and saw the children, and I was completely blown away because we have healthy kids. And a lot of us uh, sit around and, you know, complain about, you know, our children and things that happen to them. And, and I just didn't know, you know, children were affected like that. And we started a uh, Daryl Strawberry Foundation, my wife and, and Tracy, I mean, my wife and me. And for, for children with autism, um, just to raise money for them and, and, and help them, help them, you know, build a program, uh, help them build an adult day program. They never had an adult day program. We built the first one in St. Louis for them and started having celebrity uh, golf tournaments in New York and raise the money and send it directly to, to the center uh, for the program to be built. I would imagine you were very humbled. I mean, here you are, six foot six. You're one of the most imposing athletic figures on a baseball field, and nothing could go wrong. And then all of a sudden, you realize that everyone is not like you, and especially mentally and physically, there are adults that didn't have the gifts and talents that you had. So it must have been a very humbling experience. Well, I, I think it devastated me more than anything to see kids affected like that. Um, I think as we see adults in, in our lives and all that we do, and we can if we can function like we do every day waking up with healthy mind healthy eyes you know you think about kids who will never have that opportunity i think it's humbling to anybody if you ever walk into a center and see autistic children and, and know the struggle but we, but what what you will learn about the kids are they're incredible you know they're great they're smart um, the iqs are, are higher than mm -hmm. the average person um, you know they just non-function and, and i think you know when you realize what um, uh, uh, autism is, you start understanding the importance of uh, being a part of that program and helping because, you know, no one, no one signed up for that, you know, and I felt so deeply for the parents because um, when you find out someone that has an autistic child, um, usually the, the family is eventually going to be broken, you know, the mm -hmm. husband usually walk away because they didn't sign up for this. And it's been very devastating to a lot of families um, that have uh, been broken because of, you know, autism.